what is the total surface area of the right hexagonal prism? Okay, so it's a little bit on an angle, but we can try using this diagram. If we were to put a dot right in the center of the hexagon and draw these lines here, we would have our equilateral triangle, of which there are six in this hexagon. This length here is eight, this length here is eight, and this length here is eight. This height, the apothem, is four times the square root of three. We solved this earlier, but you can do that because this length here is four, and this angle here is 60 degrees. We have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Therefore, this length is four, that's eight, that's four times the square root of three. Now, now that we have that, we can solve for the area of one triangle, and that is one half base times height, which is one half eight times the height, which is four times the square root of three. Therefore, we have four times four times the square root of three. That is 16 times the square root of three for one triangle. So we just take that, we multiply it by six. That will give us the area of the full hexagon. 16 times six is 96 then times the square root of three. That is the area of the full hexagon 96 times the square root of 3. The bottom base is also 96 times the square root of 3. And in the previous problem, we solved for the area around, and that was 528. So we have 528 plus 192 times the square root of 3. 96 plus 96 is 192. The answer is D.